At the 2022 American Track League invite in Ponce, Puerto Rico, the men's 100 meter dash was set to be a big event in this competition. For this 100 meter final, the fastest man in the world last season, Trayvon Bromel, was set to clash against a very strong field, which included Johan Blake from Jamaica, Marvin Bracey from the United States, and Brandon Carnes and Kyrie King, also from the United States. But when the 100 meter athletes were lining up, both Blake and Bracey did not show up for the start, so hopefully both of these athletes are not injured. And given their absence in this race, Trayvon Bromel quickly became the favorite. With an explosive start, both Trayvon Bromel in lane 5 and Brandon Carnes in lane 3 got a slight edge on the rest of the field. But over the final 30 or 40 meters or so, it was all Bromel, who reached some pretty impressive top end speed to win this race. With a finishing time of 9.92 seconds, Bromel tied the meet record with this performance, but as you can clearly see, he did not sprint through the line here, which seems to be a pretty popular trend right now in many different events. This 992 was a very impressive performance from last year's world's fastest man. So far this season, he's run a beastly 9.75 with a very strong tailwind, and he's also run this effortless looking 9.92. This season, the landscape of the men's 100 is quickly shaping up to be very competitive. So far, we have already seen nine athletes who have dipped under the 10-second barrier, with the Kenyan Ferdinand Amanyala currently leading the charge at 9.85. And remember, this is with legal wind, as Bromel's 9.75 is the fastest under any conditions. Given his finish here, I feel like if Bromel had run through the line, he probably would have hit a time close to 9.85, or maybe 9.87. Either way, it would have been close to Ferdinand Amanyala's time. But with a stylish kiss to the sky as he crossed the finish line, the man was not concerned about his overall time. Rather, he soaked up this victory, and he still ran a 9.92. After a rather disappointing 2021 Olympic Games, when Bromel did not even make it to the finals, this 2022 season is the perfect moment for redemption. And from my perspective, I think he is steadily and methodically proving his worth this season. And if he can simply stay consistent, he will almost certainly be one of the favorites to bring home a global medal from this year's World Championships. Again, Trayvon Bromel is proving to be very, very difficult to beat. But just how fast will he run this season? And do you see him on the podium come this year's World Championships? As always, leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, everyone. And as always, until next time.